And I want us to look in Jonah chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. And it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he became angry. Literally, he became very hot, red in the face. So he prayed to the Lord and said, Ah, Lord, was not this what I said when I was still in my country? Therefore, I fled previously to Tarshish, which would be current-day Spain, for I know that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and abundant or abounding in loving kindness. Our word has said, loyal love, one who relents from doing harm. Therefore now, O Lord, please take my life from me. It is better for me to die than to live, Jonah goes on. You know what's interesting as we come into this? Jonah, he hated the Ninevites. He was the reluctant missionary who did not want to go, and instead he wanted to go his own way. He didn't want to obey the Lord. And I shared with the kids this week that uh, God said go, Jonah said no, God said oh, <laughs> and uh, sent a great fish. He was swallowed and uh, spit up. And the kids even had fun illustrations for that this week. But as we see this, we see that God is a very merciful God. What's interesting is verse 10. Do you remember the plant that God gave Jonah to cool him in that hot, hot sun? God allowed the plant to die, a worm to come and die and, and kill that plant. But the Lord said, You have had pity on the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. Should I not pity Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between their right hand and their left and much livestock? Jonah was like, God, just zap them, wipe them out, kill them, God. Clean this place up. He hated the Ninevites. And yet, we come here, and God uses a little illustration. You had pity on a plant, but I'm trying to extend pity on hundreds of thousands of people who don't know the truth. And they repented. And, he, and the Lord responded to their belief, their repentance, and he did not destroy them. And it disturbed Jonah. You know, one of the things that you and I should always rejoice in is that we have a God who is very gracious, kind, and a God who is merciful. God invites us to be ones that are repentant, who turn away from our sin, our hypocrisy, our unbelief, if you're not saved, if you don't know Him. Jonah's disgusted with God and even rebukes God. Yet in this passage, we see that God has showed Himself to be very good. Jonah was inconvenienced about his loss of personal comfort. And he was more concerned with that than he was with God's love for people. You know, when we are impatient, you are stating your love is conditional to this world. And God states with his love, my love is unconditional with this rotten, sinful world. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God showed unconditional love, God, but God demonstrates his love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. You and I, we're, we are too often and willing to see the blessing of the gourd as a provision of God's mercy, but not look at our situation as God being merciful to us when the gourd is gone. We have to get our eyes off ourselves and a whole lot more on God so that we adopt God's view of mercy. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, would you please help us to be merciful as you are merciful, to follow you, to serve you, to worship you, for you are indeed very, very good. We commit this to you in the worthy name of Jesus. Amen.